Hey guys, Derek Jordan, Children's Pastor at with Lifeguard Kids. And I want to teach you how to do this uh, this, milk, this uh, cylinder or the floating milk or whatever we'll end up calling it. I want to teach you how to do this. What you need to do this trick, you need, uh, you need some kind of wand or stick or whatever you want to use. You don't have to refer to it as a wand or refer to magic at all. You can just have a stick up. Dodo didn't say anything about it. He just used it at the end there to show that the, the emptiness of it. You need milk because that just happens to be what the uh, object lesson was about, about spiritual milk. Now, you could, of course, use any kind of uh, liquid. Um, you could possibly even use some kind of, uh, you could use candy or you could use just about anything that you could fill up the cup with and then have go through the tube. And so then, this, this particular uh, tube is, is actually a trick I bought. It's called uh, suspended milk or something, something to that effect. And this is something you could make yourself. Um, you just need a tube, an empty tube, to, to use. And it needs to be big enough or and long enough to kind of cover everything that's going on inside the tube. And then the, the trickiest part is is the cup. And um, this cup actually looks really weird because some of the milk got into the bottom, and hopefully you can be, you'll probably be able to tell that into the, in the actual video that that looks weird. But anyway, this is how this cup works. You've got a big cup, and then you've got a cup that fits into it, and this cup actually stops right where this brim is in this cup here. So let me bring that a little closer so you can see. This cup has a brim here. This one goes into here. Let's see, goes into here. I'm trying not to spill it everywhere. To right about where that brim is on the cup. So it looks completely like a normal cup. Except for, of course, this little plastic piece sticking out right here. And if you're on a stage or far away from, further away from your audience, that's a little less noticeable. And also, you want to keep it away from the audience to make it a little harder to see or tell what it is. And so I am going to pour out this milk so you guys can see how this is done. Oh, and I, you could make this cup on your own. After getting it, I can easily tell that this can this can all be made at home. Um, just have a cup that some kind of cup or container that's can fit inside another cup and container at some kind of lip or you know have it clear so you could do this. Now I guess it doesn't have to be clear, but with it being clear, it's a little more uh, magical when, when this works. So this is empty now. Of course, it's not really empty because there's milk in there. One problem with using milk. Anyway, so this is it at the empty stage, the beginning. So you start out with your uh, secret hidden cup inside here, inside the other cup. Your tube is empty. You're going to want to show this tube empty. The way Dodo did it is he showed and talked about being empty when you accept Christ. You know, you don't really have anything. And so putting the, this in here kind of gives you the impression of you know, what's going to happen later when you do it. Do that and show it's empty. Then you're going to sh again show that it's empty by dropping the cup through it. And what you're doing is letting this uh, lip, this plastic lip, get caught on the side of the tube. Like so. So now this no longer has the cup inside of it. This has it. So you can, you can kind of see. That lip right there on the edge of the tube. So let me show that to you close up what this looks like. So you've got this here. This is sticking off. You got your tube. This comes down. The lip goes over the tube and you let go. And that stays and the cup comes out. So it looks like you're just dropping the cup through the tube to show that it's empty. But really what you're doing is loading this cup into your empty tube. Okay? So now when I did this on stage, I actually um, I talked about 
you know, covering up the bottom so that the milk didn't get out when I poured it in. So I put paper in here and, um, and did it that way. And then when I pushed this through, I knocked the paper out and all the kids were like, whoa, none of the milk came out. But you can also do it the way Dodo did and just have the tube. You've seen that it's empty. You take your milk and you just pour it into what is considered an empty tube. Problem with that is you can obviously, like right now, with that camera, you can probably hear me pouring it in and you can hear it pouring in. So that's kind of an issue because you can hear that there's got to be something that it's going into. And that's why I kind of liked the uh, that for on stage and everything. And um, Anyway, so that's just a little tip there. And what I'm doing while I've got this filled is I've got my thumb pushed onto the lip of the plastic piece that's going over because it's possible with and I'm doing this very carefully. If I let go, it's too heavy. And what it does is this pushes back and it can very likely slip out. And um, you can also see there's a very bad angle with this one because I think this tube probably needs to be a little bit longer. But if I tilt this, I don't want to spill, which I just did. I don't want to spill milk, but if I tilt this far enough, you're going to be able to see the cup underneath there. I've actually had, um, I did a magic show one time and one of the kids like came up towards the stage and they said there's another cup in there. So you want to be careful that you're back far enough and that you're holding this even a little bit tilted towards them so you don't want to fill up the cup in here too much. And another reason that it's a good idea to be able to tilt this forward is because the cup inside there wants to push against the back of the tube. So when you go back in with this cup it doesn't want to go in the cup. What it wants to do is just push the other cup up. So if you fill the cup inside all the way with milk and you're trying to get the lip of this underneath, you're going to spill the milk, which is what I did in the video if you'll watch, and it'll spill into this cup here. Almost a kind of cool effect because as you're putting this into it, you can see the milk falling in, but as well it's not what you want because what will happen is it'll look like it did earlier where there's the, the milk obviously has a different look to it in one spot than the other. And so you push this up and are able to show the milk inside the cup that it comes back. Or that it, that, that it appears. And so that's, that's all how it works. Um, let me go through this one more time. Um, let me... And if you're going to use this as a cup at any time, I definitely recommend putting your thumb on the tab anytime you pour or move it around so that you don't get too much of this. And if you, if you were to tilt this to pour it out, the cup is going to want to come out. So you put your thumb on it so that won't move and the cup can kind of move naturally around. So we take this and let me give you another tip. If you just take this and you just drop it, you probably can't tell from up there what just happened, but what just happened is my cup just flipped and fell inside my cup here. It did not catch. So you have to do this uh, fairly slowly. You bring the cup down, let it let it latch over, and you can grab your thumb on there and let it go like, like so. I've also seen it done where the person will take the cup like this to hold the tab, and they'll come down on it like this to drop it as well. I find that looks a little bit too much like you're giving away what's going on because you're, nobody really would drop a cup like this into a tube. Nobody really does that. I, I don't feel any way. If you, if you would naturally do that, then, then go for it because that's a great way to grab this cup and get it to go on to here and drop it through. But I find that I, I normally hold a cup like you would if you were going to drink it. So I try and make sure to put the cup on and I'll show it. I kind of do like a, like I'm going to drop it and then I'm like, wait, let me pull it up so you can see it. And what I'm really doing is making sure that I get the lip over the back. So I, I go, I, I go down and I'm like, oh, and then drop so that it's on the lip and you see that it went through. Now you watch the other thing is that as I'm coming down, you don't want to shake this because you know that's not right. If this is empty, you wouldn't hear this. So you want to make sure you're very careful with this. You're not moving it too much. So you go to pour into the cup. 
You pour, and you don't want to fill up the cup all the way. So then you can make sure when you lean, you lean that you tilt this forward so that the cup comes off the back. So then the cup you put back in can easily go through the tube. And I just push it until it comes up like so. Grab it, maybe a flourish, and you show that this has the milk in it. So that's how you do it. See you guys later.